You're listening to the The Morning After podcast. The what? show. The show. Kyle. Another episode. Kyle, what's up, man? What's up with you? What's up with the mustache? The mustache? You copying my style? The, I'm not trying to copy. Listen, if all the folks out there in TV land, you know that I have a beard. I'm world famous for it. Everybody's been talking about the beard. Um, but now I shaved it because I am here in Montreal mm-hmm. shooting an episode of the wildly successful CBS sitcom Ghosts. Let's go. And speaking of ghosts, today we have someone here. We're actually in his uh, place uh, because we're on the road. We're, we, we took our show on the road, but we have someone here who is fantastic. He's magnificent. Mm-hmm. Um, you may know him as uh, that Indian dude in barber shop. It's okay. People people call me that weird dude with the weird hairline in barbershop. <laughs> they they lead with sexy, but they then finish up with Yeah, your pants didn't fit on that movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had tight pants, I had a tight shirt, my belly was out. Yeah, they had you buttoned up upper deck, didn't they, on that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. So I upper decked them. I went <laughs> to the head of the studio's office and shit in his tank. Um <laughs> I was there, it happened. You know him um, uh, as, uh, what else did you do? That good dude in Mindy Kaling show? Mindy Project. The, the Mindy, Mindy Project. Kaling show? Mindy Kaling show. That's right. The Mindy Project. Also, and then, uh, Pitch pitch Perfect. Freestyle so Love Supreme. Broadway. Tony Award. This, this dude here is electric. Electric. Right now, you can catch him in the newest edition of The Last Airbender. Avatar. That's right. King Boomy. <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> hey. We've been prompt <laughs> you a, for this conversation. You have a clearly. phone huh? right next to you. Huh? <laughs> there could have yeah. been IMDb on that thing <laughs> so easily. I thought it said. That's what it said. Oh, uh, yeah. No service. It's, it's the Airbender. It's Avatar, the last Airbender. Also, in the cube, Sony, as a host, 2007. Boom, boom, boom. Pow, pow, pow. $400 an episode. Ooh. <laughs> $400 a day to shoot six episodes. You remember when you were a VJ and you got paid per day? Paid per day. And they would squeeze as many top tens in as you could do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was a VJ. You were? For MTV Daisy. No way. Daisy. Nice. Direct Daisy TV Bye-bye. only <laughs> channel. <laughs> Same thing. Where was that? Where'd you, where'd you film that? New York. Oh, I go whoa, in the studio and they go, look, we got six hours to do 40 episodes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Wait, what year? Uh, it would have been right t- 05 to 08, maybe. Okay, Direct TV. Like, we were so low on the totem pole that we would go to the MTV Music Awards the day before. Mm-hmm. And you'd film as if you were there. <laughs> we would go for the rehearsals. <laughs> and be like, as you can see now... That band that I hope it gives you hell, give gives you hell. Yeah. Oh, oh all American rejects. Yeah. yeah. So I just remember Oh, and Ludacris, that when the bank song came out. Oh mm. bang, bang, well, give me all your money. That's not how that song goes. What? <laughs> Pharrell. <laughs> Luda. Luda. Bang, bang, give me all your money. Ludacris on the track with a man, but a but a while, but ain't stop now. Hey. That's not that's Should not have that been song. on the original version. That's not that so. No, but that is my favorite rap of his. I should have been on the original version. Nah, I'm on the original version. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Ludacris, who's a longtime uh, listener of this show. I got a text message from Ludacris. He's Indian. He's Indian. Yep. Yeah, I got a text from him this morning. He said, he said, um, your show is dot, 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 that nigga. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but thanks, Ludacris. Hey, Kyle, can you please repeat that? What did he say? Sorry, Larry, one more time. Ludacris sent me a text and said, your show is dot, 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 that nigga. That's dope. That's dope. That's, that's dope. Because, like, good, do good job. he's in Fast and Furious, so that's respect. Oh, yeah, 100%. Also, Crash. Yeah, Crash. Yeah, he robbed uh, Brendan Fraser. So, you guys know him from... <clears throat> Who, Brendan Fraser? The Whale fame. And Sino Man. Cino but Man. you guys know Lamorne Morris from New Girl. Mm-hmm. From Barbershop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fargo, mm-hmm. of which he is eligible for a nomination. In which you have not seen. <sighs> I'm going to. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to watch The Last Airbender. Just watch. Uh, yeah, you should. It's good. 
Mm-hmm. Like Fargo, you know, I mean, there's, <laughs> there is a movie. Why would I introduce it as The Last Airbender? You gave me shit about it. Like, that wasn't the title. But it's <laughs> Avatar and then the two dots, The Last Airbender. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. You know how black people are. Picture. It's Barbershop, The Next Cut. That's the movie we were in, but people don't go, hey, man, you were in Barbershop, The Next Cut, no, which is a trilogy it? of a series of three films. It's the final, <laughs> the final <laughs> edition of a series of events that happened in the south side of Chicago. No, they go, yeah, hey, nigga from Barbershop. And I go, yep. I just remember we were so excited. We went to go see that movie in the theater together, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yes. Hannah was there. That's where I met Hannah. Mm-hmm. Actually, we might not have even met that night. Anyway. You and I are like, this is great, mm-hmm. big movie, big franchise. We're like holding hands and happy. Bob <laughs> Title, the producer, shout out Bob Title, mm-hmm. comes up to us and goes, nah, this weekend's bad. We're no. Like, what? Mm-hmm. And before we even go in the theater, he's like, yeah, numbers are bad. We're never getting a sequel. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <clears throat> so funny, it's funny you say that because it, it was the decision of, I don't know who the decision maker was in this instance, Mm -hmm. where they decided to release Barbershop the following week. We were going to have an earlier release. We had tested high. We were getting great reviews. And when we were going to release, it was going to be up against, I think, Melissa McCarthy's spy movie. It was some, it was a Melissa McCarthy movie. And they, they, they said, well, Melissa McCarthy's going to, she's going to crush, she's going to crush your film. So what they did was they decided to move our movie to the following week in which Jungle Book was coming out. Oh, that's because right. Because their logic was, black people don't watch Jungle Book. Like, what? <laughs> Jungle Book sells four b- 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 billion, billion tickets. Yeah. Then we get into the theater at the Arclight. At oh, the Arc- yes. Did you remember Kenya Barris? Kenya showed up. He had just saw the Jungle Book. It goes, Kenya's the writer of Barbershop. <laughs> my oh, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, he comes out of the theater. And he's like, I just saw Jungle Book. Woo. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Hope they hope they knew what they were doing, <laughs> and we got crushed, spanked. We got spanked. You guys met on barbershop. Is that where you guys met, or had you met before? No, barbershop was day one. I give you a funny story about the first time we met. Um, that I have sleep issues to this day. Mm-hmm. I, 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 it dep- I don't know if I have something really important to do the, to do the next day. I can't get it together. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I could fall asleep right now. You no need, problem. You need the computer. <laughs> oh, that's a funny story. You piece of shit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say it now, kid. I had his computer because I was testing footage, right? And I forgot to give it back to him. So we get back to the to our perspective rooms last night. It's like almost two a.m. And we, he's like, keep in mind, we get back into our rooms around like one forty. Yeah, yeah. And I get a text like, "Hey, bro, uh, can I get my computer back?" And he's like, "I need it to fall asleep." I was like, "Oh, that's this not what guy. I said." I can read you the text message. He's like, "I need it. I need it for YouTube to no, like fall asleep." No, no, well, that's no. what he told me in person. ASMR video. I said, "Can you bring my laptop down?" He goes, "You need it right now." Two things are going through my mind. Nigga, it's my laptop. Why do I have to explain to you it's why I want it? You do. And then I go. And then I go. I said, yeah. And he goes, let me put some clothes back on. I just got in bed. I go, so already he's butt naked. <laughs> yeah. So I said, okay, never mind. I can come up then. I'll put some clothes on and I'll be up. He goes. <laughs> I don't know about all these guys. He goes, this fool about to be. <laughs> what? I texted him. This finished. Kyle texts me. This fool about to beat his meat so hard. <laughs> Come on down. I got it here. I go, nah, son. LOL. I need to watch YouTube to fall asleep. Yeah, right? What are you watching on YouTube? Yeah. Dude, I put on a podcast. I always wake up to it. It goes to a million podcasts. And every time I wake up in the morning, it's frozen on Lex Friedman's oh face saying, God, are you still dude, watching? Dude. What uh, what podcast are you listening to? I listen to all kinds of podcasts and just let it go. Go for the Y files. Uh, Shout out Y files. The Y files? Oh, yeah. A lot of space stuff, sci-fi oh, stuff. A lot of conspiracy, government conspiracies. Why? What do you? What do you? Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to put put a pin in that. I want to finish this uh, a fast version of the story. We met I, before I go. You were to, a high as fuck the night before. I took an edible and I uh. had, and I hadn't taken one in a while, so I was like, okay, but this will knock me out. I know they'll knock me out. It didn't kick in because my metabolism is on is on Alzheimer's. Like it just <laughs> just be forgetting it exists. <laughs> then I, it, midway through my sleep, 
it kicks in. So when oh, I wake up in the morning, and like I'm about, I'm about five minutes away from where we got to go before I realize it's still in my system, <laughs> because I was like, and it was it was kind of early, so not a lot of cars were on the road, so yeah. I was good, and but I wasn't paying attention until like I started pulling up, and I was like. Everything kind of slow. <laughs> I see a car. I go, hey man, we meet. We're at the table. Read. We're talking. I'm nervous. Everybody's there, and I say, hey man, do you uh, you think I took an edible? You think anybody knows I'm high? And this asshole goes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. This is within five minutes of meeting each other. Maybe thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're high as fuck. <laughs> I was like, no. I'm also like six months sober, so I'm just looking at you and. I just need somebody to connect to. Yeah. <laughs> Bully. That that changed my whole outlook. Yeah. On money that day. Oh yeah. Because I told you this. Mm-hmm. I got a new car after that table read mm-hmm. because we were all waiting after that read. So Nicki Minaj has whatever giant car she somebody's driving her. Mm-hmm. Cedric has like a big spaceship with wheels on it. Yeah. Common's got like some CLs S g5 wagon yeah <laughs> lamorne had like a bmw i was like please god let me be last 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 you had a bmw mm-hmm. right like a roadster the i8, the i8 yeah yeah i had a 2010 honda civic yeah all reliable zip ties <laughs> holding the bumper on oh it was covered in it was black, but it looked yeah. like a zebra from all the scratches <laughs> all over the side. Because oh, no. I haven't driven for 10 years before moving from New York to L.A. Plus, I had a drinking problem. Oh. <laughs> so your boy had uh, trouble parking in my garage parking spot. It was just all from the garage. Like, no. Yeah. Oh, no. And the car pulls up and I go, I got to make some life changes. These <laughs> fools, they can't. They can't see me like this. Yeah. And so yeah, I went and got a new car. I got a Lexus, like <laughs> maybe a week, or two two weeks wow. later. What's the fanciest thing you've ever bought since then? Because you've made a pre- I don't want to count your money, but I feel like you've done pretty well for yourself. You're everywhere. The fanciest thing I ever bought was I got like the three giant Sentinel statues that mm-hmm. Iron Studios put out. You know what I mean? No. Sideshow X Men, right? No. Oh, fifteen wow, hundred a them. pop. Come on, oh, wait. You got all the X Men on the Sentinels. It's pretty <laughs> fucking cool, dude. It's a big magnet. <laughs> Girls like it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, Girls a house. Like it. <laughs> Probably a house. Probably a house. Probably a house that that stuff is in. Yeah, I got a home. You got a, so a house. That's the fanciest thing. That's legit. Yeah. It's also the biggest purchase a person. <laughs> well, unless you're a billionaire and you're buying islands and shit. But like, yeah, how, what's your home? fanciest purchase? Probably a home. Probably, uh, probably the same thing. Uh, but if if outside of, but I look at a house as a utility. Okay, outside of utilities. Outside of utilities, something that you don't need. Mm. But like like little basketball cards. Basketball cards. Yeah, for sure. Can we talk about that? My wife isn't gonna like it, but oh, we, no. we don't have to. Listen, it's fun. <laughs> but it's expensive. Yeah, collecting cards. So what do you? So when you collect them, do you just like go to like Target and then see the box by the cash register and then you buy some? Packs? Hell no! I go to my LCS, my local card shop. Whoa! And I go in, homie. I'm looking for flawless PSA immaculate. 10s? I, no, I don't buy singles. I'm a treasure hunter. Oh, okay. I get boxes, which is to say, I'm an idiot. Oh boy! <laughs> I'm wasting money. So you grab a bunch of boxes of cards. Are there uh, prices on the... Uh, it's like a box and there are little individual packs inside the box. Yep. Do you open the packs? Fuck or do you, yeah. Some people yeah. say you keep them in and you never open a box. And the yeah, boxes well, just keep selling. To buy gold then. <laughs> yeah. If that's what you want to do, buy gold. It's a much safer bet. Some of those Pokemon boxes are crazy. Yeah. yeah. If you're doing it to invest, mm-hmm. buy gold. Buy stocks. Do something that has, has hundreds of years of, you know, A Mickey evidence. Mantle card would have that. <laughs> Mickey yeah, Mickey you get card. a Mickey Mantle yeah. card and hold on to it. That's never going down in value. Oh, yeah. Until people realize that cardboard is useless. <laughs> people, listen, people, people's brains can sometimes be useless. Mm. And I'm, this is no knock on the card collecting community because I have probably over 2 million basketball cards. Yeah. But I was a child when I did it. Yeah. And so I never, was I. And I never sold... I never sold. I don't know what that world's like. 
but I'm so glad I don't because like I feel like I would have a it would be a thing for me because I'm so obsessed with sports mm-hmm. and like and if I have these commodities I don't I'd understand that more than I'd understand like so you've got you've got disposable income so you go in and you're a big dog mm-hmm. and the the more Morris, <laughs> roo, roo, roo. he's here, I baby. Like that. I like that. The more big dog. I like that a lot. What do you buy today, baby? You <laughs> are the man. That's nice. Damn, what an intro. That's real nice. I love you. I love you, dude. <laughs> What's he gonna buy today? <laughs> go to the glass case, man. Only you can go to the glass case. I, I'm starting to see why they get how they get you. They yeah. just stroke your ego a little bit. Yeah. Who you got? Deep pockets, deep pockets and deep balls. Nobody, <laughs> you are the man, <laughs> big dog. I love you. What do they call the goat? <laughs> You're the goat, whale. Mm. <laughs> That's a whale sound. <laughs> You're like, I like this. My kids don't even fucking look at me. <laughs> what do you need, buddy? I need five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I need everything, sir. Yeah, and I mean everything. Swipe. <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, so I want to go back. So there's two parts. There's two more parts to this show. One, we do a rapid fire. Not really rapid fire, but you know, you can enter at your own leisure. <laughs> Jake Johnson, <laughs> Max Greenfield, <laughs> Hannah Simone. Hey, let's talk about that. Wait, wait, let's talk about what? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about what? I had a whole thing I was going to do. Okay, you do your thing. No, let's do your thing. You're the oh, guest. I had a thing too. Yeah, we all had a thing? Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Who gets the thing? Whose thing gets to go first? Rocks. Oh. Pa- wait, wait. Do you guys do rocks, paper, scissors, shoot? Yeah. Who or- gets the buy? No, just three way. Okay, here you. don't want a three way this yeah, one? Yeah, one, two, three, shoot. Rock, paper, yeah. scissors, shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rock, paper, <laughs> scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> oh, Larry wins. Oh, you win. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, bom, do bom. your thing. So we, can, I win. So I want you to do your thing. Oh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> all right. I have you one more barbershop thing. question, real quick. Jake we move on. Johnson, Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Wait, barbershop was Atlanta. And yeah, you guys Atlanta. filmed. Yeah. Uh, offset. What was the what? Because you guys were there for for a bit. Offset. Mm-hmm. What would you say is the wildest thing that happened to you while doing like you know one of your guys's first bigger movies anything crazy happen hmm. fuck you kyle <laughs> all right i'm married now i got yeah. kids i was not married i did not have kids i wasn't in my right mind okay <laughs> before i got kicked off of twitter for impersonating myself <laughs> which is also why bumble kicked me off <laughs> wait what <laughs> Yeah, they really? were like, you're impersonating a public figure. I was like, it's me. I'm lonely. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're oh. not going to get away with being the pitch perfect guy. <laughs> <laughs> he could get it. He would crush on this app. Yeah. <laughs> He'd get all the old butts. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> um, before they kicked me off, met a nice lady on the Tinder or whatever it was. Thrinder. We all met at a club. Mm. Lamorne was there. His friend. Can I say Stephanie was there? Yeah. Beep. Shout out Sexton. Shout out Sexton. New album out. I had a hard time. Now I'm doing great. And I got lots of friends. She's great. She's great. Uh, She's pretty dope. Lamorne and Stephanie are there. Mm. Girl and I socialize. We're having a good time. We get to my room. I don't have protection. Brrr, call Lamorne. Bro, do you have protection? He goes, have I got protection? <laughs> I'm gonna, I've got a protection you need, bro. <laughs> I go up, he's got an array of all sorts of colors, shapes, sizes, makes, models. It's like Paul Rudd and Anchorman. Yeah, he's you know, just like, Panther. He yeah. opened up the raincoat. Yeah, that's just... basically, I was like, whoa. Well, it's not, half of those were duds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he's like, kind of size, what's the torque? What's the, what's the what are you working with here? Yeah. Show me. Show me. <laughs> I show him my dick. Uh, we spent 45 minutes doing that. Uh, by the time I go up, the girl's gone. No, uh, he gives me the condom. I go upstairs. It is the most, this poor person, forgettable experience I can imagine. I've mm. never, it is embarrassingly probably, wherever you are, if you ever watch this, it's the worst I've ever performed in a bedroom situation. I don't know what happened. The wind caught me the wrong way. Listen, She was expecting like this 
She not was, that. She was for sure. <laughs> she was, yeah, she was expecting me. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. She was like, "Can we switch?" Yeah. Uh, honestly, I would have. I would have done it. I would have tagged. Knowing now what happened, I'd happily what, have not had that experience. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what I happened? I was like, "Ha one, ha two, ha three. <laughs> <laughs> like, that Tootsie Roll got gotcha, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, uh, I was like, uh. <laughs> so I tried to pretend that it was good. <laughs> and said, so, woo, we had a ball, didn't we? <laughs> that was Look fun. At us ejaculating at the same time, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, so quickly, too. Yeah. Wow, we have so much chemistry. Oh, um, wow. Wow. I feel so fulfilled. Do you, did you feel f- fulfilled? I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, I take protection is removed, Mm -hmm. toss it on the ground, Mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to handle what I've just done, which is very embarrassing for me. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I just hear, (coughs) now I had my dog with me, Disco. So your dog is finishing her off? (laughs) I'm kidding. kidding. That's Tag disgusting. team back again. <laughs> Check it the right here. Let's begin. Uh, <laughs> no, my dog ate the condom. She Whoa. just no. Oh my god! Ingested it. Oh. So I'm like, oh my god, my dog ate the fucking condom. I pick up the disco and I'm like, what did you do? The girl. I'm like, I'm so sorry. My dog's got to be in this bed. I got. I'm on dog watch now. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's like, you just. That sucked. Yeah. <laughs> like just let's just all pretend. Let's just be a family. Let's yeah. cuddle. This is emotional intimacy. This is the part that really matters, right? <laughs> She's like, I'm fucking out. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should probably go. She leaves. Obviously, I tell Lamorne mm-hmm. and Margot the yep. story the next day. Cut to the Margo premiere Bingham. of the Margo film. Margot Bingham. Margot Bingham, by the way. Bar- Margot Bingham. Mm-hmm. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're well. She's good, right? She's great. Yeah. Great singer. Mm. Uh in the movie, there's a scene before Cube or somebody walks in, mm-hmm. and Margot. If you guys go back and watch Barbershop Three, Margot is saying to Lamorne, "So the dog ate the condom." <laughs> no. and it's an improvised part of the movie no. that made it into the film. Oh, no. So I told them, and it was. I mean, it's a good story. It's been immortalized forever now. Yeah, dude, immortalized that's, forever. And the all-time classic. And so is Disco. Yeah, poor dog. What an idiot. <laughs> I just remember seeing the condom in the shit outside in Atlanta, sunny day, in the heat, and just being like, Yes! <laughs> she shit it out! Uh, if any <laughs> random bypasser just walked by, you'd see that. Shit like, <laughs> she busted it. She shit out my nut. It was real bad. It was very bad. I think bad. you win, bro. I think you win. Yeah. I don't think you're going to top that, Larry. That's pretty, that's pretty scarred. Yeah, that's legit right there, though. I remember because I, I've never, I could say all my days, I've never had a dog do that. <laughs> all my days. Disco, my dog, and this might be a thing, I don't even know. She will eat the crotch out of her panties <laughs> like that. She a, she a crotch catcher? She will devour anything that has touched a vagina. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's... It's a problem. Oh, wait, Disco's a girl or a boy? Disco is a girl dog. Mm-hmm. She doesn't uh, care about men's underwear, no. like my underwear. Yeah. Or, she's, cause lesbian probably dog. Stinks, probably she's a lesbian dog. Oh, she, she I don't gay. know. Yeah. I have no clue. I got news oh. for your dog. Your dog gay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ice-T does it. How would Ice-T Ice do it? Ice-T would go. <laughs> How would Ice-T tell him his dog's gay? <laughs> Hey, bro. He goes. He would go. UTK would go. Disco's not gay. No, Disco's not gay. She just likes to eat the crotch out of other women's panties. All right, that's I, your line. That's your line. Yeah. As go. Ice T. No, no. No, as you just, gotta say that to him. You. Oh, Ice-T. Disco's not gay. She just likes to eat the crotch out of other women's panties. Well, I got news for you. That means she's gay. <laughs> Ice T. That's so good. That's so good. I opened up for Public Enemy. What? When I at BB King's when I was a rapper. Yeah. What the fuck? We opened up for Public Enemy on Flavor Flav's 50th birthday party mm-hmm. and they did the entire It Takes a Nation album. And wow. Chuck D gave me my catchphrase for 2 years where somebody goes, "Ask me how I'm doing." Hey man, how you doing, brother? Slow motion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? That's pretty dope. I heard him say it. I was like, I'm "Wait, who gave you that? Who that? gave you that?" Chuck D. Chuck Chuck Shout Jesus. out. Chuck D. My God. But Ice-T and Coco were there. 
Mm. And I remember meeting Ice T, and I was like, I'm a huge fan. Obviously, six in the morning, all mm -hmm. that hard, uh, hard kill. What was the one where he's running through the woods, and they're all trying to get him? You that movie? Yeah, that movie's the incredible. Game? The, yeah. game. the game, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but another faux pas. Because all my stories are, that I remember are just the embarrassing ones. As <laughs> I shake his hand, I'm a huge fan. Oh my God, Coco, Coco, my God, Coco, Coco. <laughs> You're so pretty. I hug Ice T and he goes, All right, man, good luck. Uh, he goes, Yeah, he goes, Good luck with everything. And I look back at him, I go, Yeah, you too. <laughs> and he looks at me like, Do you have any fucking clue who I am? I don't need luck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ice T. And I went, I mean, Continued success. Yeah. <laughs> he kept walking. And he kept, for the rest of the night, he was like, I fucking kill that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> so, good luck, Ice T. He's yeah. like, You see my wife, Coco? Yeah. Do I look like I need <laughs> luck? <laughs> Continued success. That's amazing. <laughs> Is there any place on you I can kiss without mm -hmm. being it weird? Yeah. Um, so if you're just tuning in, this is the morning after the show where Rolling Stone calls. <laughs> God damn. Um, we're here with Utkarsh and Butkar, one of the greats. You you alluded to your rap career a little bit. BMO. No, we're not talking about BMO. Sorry, we're talking I about just your rap to career. Give you all a which, which what do you prefer? <laughs> you prefer music or you prefer acting? I tell you what, the set is a joyful place. Mm -hmm. I like getting to know everyone. I like learning everyone's names, having fun. It's a safe space where y'all want to build something together. But I've been broken many times by an industry that has a very, very strong idea of what they think is successful and what that mm. looks like. Right. So being in the studio, you get to control and create. You get the same energy of collaboration, mm. but nobody's asking you to do an accent. That's true. Gotcha. Oh, man. So I love music. Mm, you, you get asked to do that a lot. Accents and not anymore. Not you anymore. Me? Huh? You just funny. People say that like brown people will go. They always want me to play like a um, terrorist, or they want me to play you know a clerk somewhere, mm -hmm. or a tech, cab driver, tech person, cab driver, hot dog man. And with black folks, it was always like, oh, we got to play an athlete or a, a drug dealer or a gangster. I got never. I, I was never asked to do any of those. Things. <laughs> I'm like, y'all don't see this thug in me. You're just not gangster. Y'all don't bro. understand that I, I have the ability to. You know what I mean? Like I could do that. Although I'm from the South Side of Chicago, I was never that person. <laughs> People always like one of these kids ain't like the other, <laughs> and it was always try, me. Just try being a little bit <laughs> crackheady. Mm -hmm. Crackhead, shut up. <laughs> This guy ran track. Come on, man. I ran track, baby. I'm fast. Yeah. I'm quick. Abdomens. Can not from crack, but from, from sprinting. Uh, yeah. Can you do that goat line? This is what they'd say to me. Can you do the goat line as written? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that line. Yeah. That line makes me feel bad. <laughs> make me feel bad, bad in my pee pee. Bad in my pee pee. <laughs> that line makes me feel bad in my pee pee. I don't like it. So there's something that we do on this show. Let's um, do it. Well, we go, we poll the fans. Yep. That's Kyle and I love polling the fans, mm. and they we asked them and we we asked them to send in their questions that they wanted specifically from you. This is not a real thing. This is no. Real this thing. is a real thing. Jake. <laughs> real Jake. Thing. Drake. Drake. <laughs> Drake. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey! I just want you guys to know, Lamorne is a real talented guy, oh, and good. Kyle. Is here too. I appreciate that, bro. Damn me up. Come Yo, on give now. Give me some love, dog. Come on now. Done these fools forever, bro. You look good friends, no, man. man. We good people, dude. Um, we're gonna do some rapid fire questions here. Not, <laughs> yeah. It's not really rapid fire. You can like expand on any of these things. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is about to be the longest podcast in history of the morning after. That's fine. That's I'm not letting this bitch end. Hey. <laughs> we we good. Yeah. We can break this up into twenty episodes if you want. <laughs> Let's go, dog. We'll give, Part you, we'll give you a little piece. We'll give you a piece of the action. Let's yeah. go, dude. Um before we jump into this, really quick, childhood. Tell me about it. Real quick. Childhood. What was that like? <sighs> Two orphan. Words. Orphan? Oh. You were an orphan. You was raised in these streets. All you had was your balls, your fruit basket, and your word. Total and your little pet. You had a little sidekick. What was his name? Frenchie. Yeah, sidekick named Frenchie. Frenchie used to steal shit from the market for you. Mm -hmm. 
Oranges. Oranges. You love oranges. Sweet tooth. They always call you young Bring sweet tooth. Bring me my vitamin C. <laughs> Protect. <laughs> Protect you from scurvy. Okay, cool. So you grew up uh, You grew up an orphan. Karshan Budkar, no parents. In the in Japan. In Japan. Ooh. Ooh, a little Japanese immigrant action. Yeah, and I was I had a strong Japanese accent as a child. Give me give like, me a taste. Damn. Oh good morning, top of the morning to ya. <laughs> I'm from Japan. <laughs> That's good to see ya. Did not even close. What are you talking about? God damn the boy is in need of damn. some care. Oh, you <laughs> Steven to Seagal see? trained him. <laughs> <laughs> trained him Steven Seagal. And okay. hop key dough. <laughs> Is that what he did? Hapkido? He did haiku do. What? One of those sounds like a slur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. The cool oh, part. Oh, but when I was growing up in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot of accents? Uh, Yeah, I could do, like, I could pretty much do an impression of anyone. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Give who? Give me your best. Give me your best Bolo Young. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Shout out Bolo. You break my record, now I break, break you. you. Oh. Like I break your friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, give me an impression of give me your impression of your parents when you got in trouble as a kid. That's nice of them. Oh wait, I didn't have parents. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> The streets okay. raised you. I forgot. Yeah, the, raised me. Yeah, you would, uh, the pigeons would just be like, <laughs> and then I would stab them and cook them and eat them. <laughs> Project. Okay, Kyle. Now yeah. dive in. Dive into the fan questions. You want okay. me to start? You I got to, the yeah. first one. Yeah. The first, one? Yeah. first question for you, dude. No. What fictional character do you most identify with? Mm. And that's interesting. The history of characters. Yeah. <clears throat> Nightcrawler. Nike. Ooh, I can see that. That's He's a man of faith. Mm-hmm. He wants the group to stay together. God, yeah, that's nice. He sees the bigger picture. God damn, that's good. He's good with a sword. Oh, he leads with his heart. Oh. He's got a fucking tail. Oh my shit! God, he got a, this, with a little spear. Get me emotional yeah. here, bro. Take and this. And he's blue. <laughs> we go there on this podcast. From yeah, time to time, blue. we go there. If we need now, a tissue. that is, that's who I feel inside. That I mm-hmm. most relate to. I think externally, if mm. I'm being perfectly honest in my self awareness, mm-hmm. Donkey from Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Donkey as fuck. Really? Yeah, I'm always down from to party. Yeah. I'm the guy who's gonna follow. I'm definitely gonna attach myself to the biggest motherfucker in the room yep. and just be like, We're besties. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna we try and best fight him. All the time. <laughs> I'm going to be like, want to fight to the death? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> you want pancakes? I will. Yeah. I'm the dude who finds the bodyguard. Okay. And it's basically like, is like. You and me. Yeah, basically. <laughs> He's like, oh God, I'm big and F. And, and bend over. I'm not confident. And I go, we're going to make you confident. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Um, okay. So it's Donkey from Shrek and Nightcrawler. Yeah. I would I'd I'd watch that movie and you play both characters. I'm down. That'd be awesome. Um, would you rather have no ears or no thumbs? <laughs> oh. No ears? Can I still hear? Um, no, you got no. no ears. No thumbs. You'd rather have no thumbs? Yeah. Yeah, because you want to hear, right? Yeah. I like you, you, you got great. You guys sound great. You want to hear when people go, man, you ain't got no thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could figure this out. <laughs> Four finger uh, cars over there. I could figure this out. Dude, I think it'd be harder than you think without thumbs. Not if you never I knew a life hear. without it. If you never knew a life without thumbs, you could probably. Yeah. Music can, is so important to me mm. and sound in general. Mm-hmm. If I couldn't hear, I'd be, I wouldn't be me. Yeah. I'd still be me with, no thumbs. Well, but based on your past, what you told me you used to get into. No, I can do that with no thumbs. <laughs> oh, you can. Okay, good. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can step. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Yeah. All right. It's it's. Uh, mm, go ahead. What? What would you say was the best TV theme song from the nineties? Best TV theme song from the nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. There's some good ones. Let's get dangerous. Duckwing Duck. We're nurse trouble. You call DW. 
It's Dark a banger. Green Ooh. Dark. Let's also, yeah, I mean, dangerous. if we're going, there's so many different ones. I would go. Darkwing Duck is a banger. Darkwing Duck is a. DuckTales is really good. Mm-hmm. Everywhere you go, everywhere is a heart of somebody who needs you. Nah, Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck, that's what you're going with? Oh. But the most ubiquitous, the most mm-hmm. famous of all time. It's Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, I was, I was yeah. Like, Fresh that's... Prince. That yeah. beats Family Matters. Yes. Fresh Prince beats Family Ooh. Matters. Fresh Prince beats all of it. Fresh However, Prince beats everything. I got to throw one in there that people don't talk about a lot. What? Mr. Belvedere. Streaks on the China. Get the fuck out Never of here. Never happened before. No, get out Who of here, dude. Cares? Fresh Prince <laughs> is the only thing that you could start saying and have 10,000 people rapping along. Finish it. Yeah. yeah. That's mm-hmm. true. I, I used think to about do that. that Unless you were at Essence Fest up. and you could play Good Times, you could play all the you other could ones. You could do everything. 10,000 people would go crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Essence Fest. It was never, they never invited me. I've been invited several times. You, yeah, you know, we we talked about this earlier. Like, <laughs> 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 talking about who you would track. Rock. <laughs> they got a vendetta against you? Uh, no, I'm just not cool enough. That's like a cool kids thing, I guess. You I are cool as shit, bro. No, I just stick to myself. Um, <laughs> Jake Johnson. <laughs> Did you know Wikipedia doesn't know how old you are? That can't be. No, yeah. yeah. What's the word? What's the deal with that? It says you're like. I think it says like 39, then it also says you're 40. That's great. In two different places. That's dope. Yeah. You're not going to tell the world which one is true? I'm born in December 8th, 1983. So I'm 40 years old, and nice. there's nothing I can do about it. Nice. And also, I'm happy with that. Oh, uh, you got the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are, again, these, keep in mind, these are all from the fans. Yeah, these are fan poll, dude. You're making all this up. No, these are real no, specific no. to what the fans. fans. You have a what? lot of fans, bro. You you performed at the Oscars, dog. Guys, thanks, man. Stop it. Hey, fans. Cool. <laughs> hey, fans. I just want you to know I'm the humblest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> I'm a humble dude. Humble ass. I'm dude. humble dude. Humble dude. Go ahead. Um, good one here. What if I don't think you have one of these yet? But what would the name of your autobiography be? Oops. <laughs> Did I do that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know, man. There's like that serious side, mm-hmm. and then there's the jokes, right? And you guys, this is an entertainment podcast. This yeah. is a comedy podcast. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna go into the basement here. We could. Yeah, I, I got would, the tissues right there. The we doors could. open. I would. It might be called like. Redemption, Ooh. like uh, out of the cave. Ooh, because you used to be used to give be me a there. snow cone. What? Ooh, I might call it "Give me a snow cone." That's pretty good because when you come out of the cave and you hot from I don't I don't want I don't want I don't want to say why you would be in the cave. I'm not going to say that. But because uh, I out was, in I was, I was on that. <laughs> no, I see. This this cave metaphorical, y'all. Uh, yeah, maybe. Redemption. Give me a snow cone. You don't want to dive into that. We don't have to talk about it. Brown guys need love too, but then that becomes just about ethnicity and yeah. race. Can yeah. you really just hang your hat on that shit all the time? That's true. Do we always have to be like, I don't fit in, boo hoo? At a certain point, you're successful. And you're just saying it to try and give other people hope. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're good. You work all the time. Mm -hmm. I work, God bless, all Mm -hmm. the time. Thanks, Wall. Thanks, Ceiling. (laughs) Ja Rastafari. (laughs) Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, What would the picture look like? Are you doing the classic fist and the... Sorry, I didn't mean to say bring up fist again. Are you doing the fist on the chin, though? or? No, I would would have a fucking snow cone. Okay. Oh, you have a snow cone for real. Oh, snow cone and a shotgun. Jeez. You like shotguns? No, I've shot once a shotgun. Oh, you don't do that because you don't. Yeah, that's not a that's not a good look. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, if you don't know how to use it, don't don't pick it up. And take pictures with it. Blow your goddamn arm off. Yeah. The recoil on a everybody's shotgun. Everybody's not weapons trained like I am. Bloodshot. Fargo. Fargo. <laughs> Oops. Oi. 
Vin Diesel, my name's Lamont, and you've shown up in the shop. And now I've got to do some genetic testing on you. Yeah. Your blood is off the charts, mate. What accent is this? Uh, freaking Chinese. Dude. This doesn't sound anything close to Chinese. You want to hear my Indian accent? I'm hearing it now. <laughs> Got him. See you. Walk right into that one. <laughs> Clever girl. Oh, Jurassic that Park. Got me good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're funny. Oh, man. All right. Next question Scooby Dooby Doo. Speaking of Scooby Doo, would you ever spend the night in a haunted mansion, a real one? Not the Disneyland ride. Yeah. You would. Why not? That's just scary. Bro, I want one life, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it's but they could take it. Ooh. What who's gonna have you ever heard of anyone dying in a haunted house? Bro, have you seen have you seen uh the nun? Fake. Amityville horror? Fake. Uh Debbie Does Dallas. F- fun. <laughs> homeward fun. bound. Oh, homeward bound. Fifo goes west. <laughs> I'm crying and then shadow comes up over the hill. <laughs> oh. Shadow day. Shadow day. What a great Shadow's movie. Alive. <laughs> a great Bait movie. And switch, baby. Uh of course. A real one. Yeah. 100%. You don't do you believe in do you believe in uh, ghosts? I want them to be real. Mm. But never had an encounter. Never had an encounter with a malicious spirit. So you think you've had uh um you know a, a pretty good one, a benevolent spirit i think i we're all surrounded by our angels if we open ourselves up to them better yeah. angels that's ancestors scary. that's scary that's scary because they're yeah, they watch that, you fuck they watch you do weird stuff yeah and you got to be like hey avert thine eyes yeah, yeah go yeah. help somebody else how do we know they're actually watching us do that i mean well, they know they got to get out the room to unless be you're a public unless you do you like doing that stuff in public maybe and they can see you. to be fair though say i'm a spirit and can come and go as I please through the planes of existence. Mm-hmm. I'm probably not fucking with you that much, right? right. I'm off doing in the ether, shit. in the ohm, whatever mm-hmm. it is. I'm probably, yeah, doing ghost shit. Yeah. I got a lot of people I got to take care of. What if it turns out doing ghost shit is literally just watching people fuck? <laughs> well, if our TV show it leads us to believe anything, it is that. Yes. Yeah. So that's the main story point. Yeah, shout out to ghosts. It's a, yeah. a lot of ghost sex. Yeah, it's really. Season yeah. three about to be wild. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot Give of ghost that humping. Booty. So. Yeah, yeah, I'd go. I'd go. And I'd want there to be some moment of like, oh my God. I don't know. And then I'd want to be like, "You shall not take me." <laughs> and then they take you anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, they could. No, nah, they won't. I have a date I wanted at a coffee shop. Oh, y- you y- actually? Y- y'all want to come? That'd be I so don't. funny. We just I crash do. your date. I do. Y'all can sit in the other part of the cafe. Who do you have a date with? Uh, so, uh like a local Montreal legend, probably. We could just be like the proud parents spying in the corner of the you room. Do not have a date. I got a date at eight. I'm in the seven forty fifth Ave. Just got it so I can drive with it. Wait. With the matching jacket, you about to cop me a mansion. Because yeah. I'm planning my day around you. <laughs> yeah, but we can all go to the same place. That'd be fun. Who are you meeting at one o'clock? I don't want to tell the podcast world. Guys, he knows girl? people. Yes. He knows. Is there a famous girl? Yes. Oh, is it Madonna? <laughs> no comment. And we're going to have a rap battle because he's going to teach me the art of battling, battling in rap. Um, sure. Yeah. But you're an easy target. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are absolutely an easy target. Well, you guys Ooh. know each other so well, so I feel like you got a lot of ammo. Damn, bro. Lamorne, uh, always feel bad. Always feel sad because he never had a <laughs> dad. That's oh, terrible. No. My dad is dead, dude. <laughs> That's messed He's up. He's dead. <laughs> ah. That's so messed Damn, up. Damn, he went it's straight terrible. for the throat. Awful, you can't. Evil. You can't go straight for the throat. It's evil. It's That's like, like a round <laughs> three. Wait, how many rounds are there in battle rock? Usually three. Three, yeah. But you know, you're famous. We Damn. can't battle anymore. Mm. We're fucked. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just want you to teach me how to do it. So, do you, well, you size yeah. them up. You look at me, purple mm. ghost. I mean, for me, it would be easy. This dude from mm. Pitch Perfect. Everybody, lyrical. He was hiding in the garage. You fucking. Who do you think you are? You're not Hassan Minaj. <laughs> Whoa. Like, oh my God, you're fucking. You're outdated, like an Atari. You walk <laughs> into the club, they're like, "There's a Z's on sorry." <laughs> like, oh, you, yeah. Jesus, you something. You fucking. You can't fuck with me. I'm way too cold this indian's dick pie look like a tootsie roll like <laughs> you could attack me yeah but that, that's that's not me i'm a very gentle person yeah yeah i know Ud me too. and bud car no! he's so cute <laughs> like, you just say the nicest things just, about it yeah. like i don't know if lamorne got the idea of a rap battle he's a very tender lover <laughs> put my friend lamorne on a magazine cover Damn. Yeah, he does his taxes on time. He's a very good son. If you went out with him alone, you would have a lot of fun. Offset? His name's Lamorne. It's a made-up name. Fuck you if you judge him. Right? Yeah. Is it a made-up name? My mom kind of made it up. It's a great name. My mom kind of made it up, but she, she was like, oh, it sounded nice. It is and a great name. Now it's world famous. World international. Fam. International. Proud mama. International. I'd be proud. I think here. because you have the LA in front, especially here, a lot of people think you're French. Yeah. L'amour. Yeah, yeah L'amour. literally. That was like everyone. L'amour, good and morning. I, I look at them directly into their souls and then I tell them, je ne parle pas bien français. Oh. Yeah, and I say. And they go, oh, okay, so what's up? Yeah, <laughs> and I look them in their eyes and I go, et yon Yeah, Ooh. they have French Canadian accent. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Georgia St. Pierre. Uh, you want, you got want, more questions you, for Jake Johnson? <laughs> you want you you love Jake Johnson, right? I've never met him. I'd love to. Oh, meet really? Him. I feel like he and I have a lot of uh, Venn diagram energy. Yeah, I could see I could see that. He probably wouldn't like me. He would love you. Yeah, he, I feel like Thanks. maybe we set up a four way at one point. Whoa! No, like a, a an oh. episode. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah we like, do that too. <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> we that too. Hi, Jake. <laughs> we definitely do that too. I'm so nervous around you, Jake. You're so, I'm so nervous. Have you ever gotten starstruck in front of anyone besides Ice T? Obviously, melting in front of Ice T. Only one who left me speechless. Uh, uh, I was my son had just been born, mm-hmm. height of COVID. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody is terrified. So we had Boomy at home because it was so scary. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go to the doctor to mm-hmm. get this, this, you know, baby checked up. He's less than a month. Mm. Uh, everyone's masked up, gloved up. This is when you were wearing gloves and masks outside. Uh. I go to throw my gloves in the trash can outside of the pediatrician. <laughs> playing a flute? Yeah. I hear. Wait, I see what? this dude playing a flute and I'm like, that oh. sounds amazing. I and I walk by him and I'm like, Bro, that sounds incredible. He's like, oh, thanks, man. I keep walking. I go, wait the fucking minute. It's Andre 3000 Whoa. playing the flute in the parking lot of my fucking pediatrician in the valley in L.A. Whoa. In the height of COVID. <laughs> just just out there. And I come back and I just start rapping. No, no you didn't. I went, we work nights. We some vampires gather around the beat like a campfire. And he's <laughs> like, what? And I was like. And I was like, lost my shit, stuttering, sweating. Uh, and he just gave me the dap. And I remember, I was like, I do your raps before every show. I'm just a huge fan. You literally are like my spirit animal. I fucking need you. <laughs> and he went to give me a dap. And all I remember is being like, eh, I don't know if I want to dap. Oh, no. 3,000 height of COVID. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, I was like, this dude's playing flute in the parking lot. He got COVID. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, I got. <laughs> oh, you never know. Have you froze Larry in front of anyone? Or just Ooh. been like super starstruck? Yeah. Uh, a couple of times in my life, I would say. One of them that was, it's a story I've told before, but I'll, I'll say it again because it might be the the first time I was truly starstruck. Um, I was at a dinner. My friend Roxy uh, had a birthday party in Chicago and she invited me to her birthday dinner and I get there and it's a table full of people. 
everyone's nice. We're all talking and hanging out. And she goes, oh, Lamorne, I forgot. There's somebody I want you to meet. And we start walking to this other room in the restaurant, like a private area. And we go in there and there's a few people sitting down and Michael Jordan is one of them. Whoa. And she goes, she goes, Uncle Mike, it's Lamorne, I was telling you about him. And he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, young man? Nice to meet you. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I literally just stared at him like this. Because it's truly like looking at a historical figure. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, it's he's mythological. You know what I'm saying? And he shook my hand and was super nice. And it was like, it's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, I was like, yeah, you too, man. You too. <laughs> and then I start, inst I instantly start crying. In front of him? In front of Michael Jordan, I just started tearing up. Mm. And I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to stop myself from doing it. So I just slowly walked away. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah, that's my I time, would do the same thing. <laughs> no. You Homer Simpson gift it? You just yeah, like walked backed, in. backed into the bush? I didn't know what to do. I, I have a story know. like that, too, oh, yeah? actually. Uh, junior year of college, I'm high as fuck. I've skipped school. <laughs> I'm sensing a the theme here. <laughs> yeah, I'm high as meows. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, I got to see some cinema. Scary movie four. <laughs> that's that's some skin cinema. cinema. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go see that Carmen Electra movie. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> scary movie four. I'm on my way to Union Square Theater in New York, mm -hmm. and right where you are, walking up to me, Daniel Day Lewis. Whoa. And I'm high as hell, and I'm I'm like, Mr. Day Lewis, you're incredible. Everything you do, you're such an inspiration. Crying. I start Whoa. tearing up. My eyes start watering. Whoa. This dude is terrified. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh God, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to see Scary Movie 4. <laughs> like, I'm not going to see anything this dude has yeah, in part yeah, yeah. with. But that was, that was for sure the only time I've met someone and instantly started crying. Whoa. But I think it was because of how high I was. <laughs> it might have had a factor. Maybe. I, I don't think I've never, never like cried when I met someone um but I did at Soho House I would, this was funny in Soho House we get into the elevator we're on the second floor and it, you know you go down so the elevator is like about to close and I see this like six one like tall blonde lady coming at me mm -hmm. and I didn't have my glasses on at the time but I was like who is this and as she got closer Charlize, Charlize Theron yeah and i was like whoa so and she hold on she got into the elevator i'm like is no one about to hold this for her so i just like stick my hand out and i hold it open for her she gets in she's like thanks and i was just like uh are you going down <laughs> she's like yeah because so house only goes down <laughs> on the second floor <laughs> and it was like okay cool yeah me too <laughs> and that was it that was oh, it oh no i was at the when i wrapped at the oscars we there was like a back area <laughs> just dropping that look yeah, whatever sorry. there's a green room and mm -hmm. they kept asking me are you do you belong here <laughs> they kept are saying like, can i see some credentials and i was like look i don't want to be here either mm -hmm. i gotta perform it's weird for me too please stop asking me if i'm <laughs> supposed to be here because yeah. it's making it worse <laughs> um standing at the bar with my wife naomi this guy comes up to me never seen him before have never seen him since and he goes hey man I don't know you, you don't know me. We're never going to see each other again. But you're standing on Charlie Theron's dress and I know you'd want to know. <laughs> and I turn around and we're I'm back to back touching Charlie Theron and my feet are all over her shit. And if she took one step, it would have just oh, you ripped broke off. It. I look back, I look at him and I go, "You just saved my night. Thank you, bro." And I hugged him. Oh my god! <laughs> and I stepped off of her dress, and that was that. Uh, that was the that and the fact that Naomi was eight months pregnant and brought a whole Gelson's rotisserie chicken in her purse. She brought. <laughs> I'm sorry. She, she brought what to the Oscars? To the Oscars. My uh, wife brought an entire rotisserie chicken. I they love let her that. get in with a whole with a, with with a whole bird. You pregnant? She was pregnant as what fuck. She took a chicken, put it in a big Ziploc <laughs> bag, like pulled it. Off she, pulled, the bone, she pulled the meat off. Put it in the bag, <laughs> put it in her purse, and brought it to the Oscars. And we're sitting there next to Gerard Butler, and you just hear. 
<laughs> she's just fucking the howling. Whole, the whole chicken smell like meat. The whole the whole theater smell like time, meat. Dude. <laughs> like, I was looking at us. I'm like, I don't know, dude. Popeye, yeah. they, 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 <laughs> Popeye's <laughs> around the corner from here. What's going on? <laughs> sure, her brother's like, what the hell's happening? Here? <laughs> <Just that> chicken <laughs> grease. <laughs> you look down. She's got a bib on. She's, got a bib on. <laughs> she's rocking like a Gucci dress. Something <laughs> expensive. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, With a four dollar chicken. <laughs> Just destroying, so, man. <laughs> what was uh, hosting that? Because obviously there's so millions and millions of eyeballs on that type of event. And, you know, everyone's there. What was, like, leading up to it, was crazy nervous? Or you just like, we're just going to yeah, do my thing? Yeah, like, We did the Broadway show for Freestyle Love Supreme. Stephanie Elaine Marcus, mm-hmm. who produced Black Snake Moan, uh, among many other things. Her son and I are very good friends. She came to the Broadway show. She was like, yo, can you write the opening number for Janelle Monae? Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's a terrible idea. Yeah. I don't think Janelle Monet is going to want that at all, but yeah. sure. Here. <laughs> yeah. Here's an idea. And then she was like, yeah, it turns out Janelle Monet is going to write her own. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I could have told you that. She's Janelle Monet. She's like, but I want you to do a rap in the middle of the show. And I was like, that also sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not doing anything. So I like came up with, flow she was like well you and quest love will do it together i was like okay he'll play drums and then quest was like there's no way that you and i can sync up with the ears with Mm -hmm. the room so i was like all right take the water the beat that you use for the water off of phrenology and let's Mm -hmm. do that so quest and i got together we did that it was mostly freestyle but it was Mm. terrifying and then i walked out and brad pitt had won Oh. And he was happy. Yeah. And that dude smiled at me and I felt love. Aroused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt love. Yeah. He looked at me and he's like, ah. And I looked dead in his eyes and I went, what am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Out loud. And he went, ah. I'm Brad Pitt, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt, Mahershala, Whoa. who I also thought that I knew. Like in my head, I was like, we're besties. Mm. Mahershala and then I saw Taika who I actually do know okay and I was like hey Taika what's up buddy <laughs> and then I, I dropped in the pocket and Bro. then it was like the moment came and left do yeah. you it, no, that was pretty good when I I, I I was shocked to see it when I was watching the Oscars um, and then I see you come on stage and I'm like whoa yes, dude. I got really lucky the moment had me and kept me safe mm-hmm. and carried me through can you give us a little taste of what you did I don't remember what I did. You, you've watched it back a million times. But it's been a long time since I've seen it. I remember every bar I ever dropped, bro. <laughs> I think the only thing that Even I was really... Even that time really, I fucked up on Sway. The only <laughs> two, thing I wish I could have said... <laughs> because the thing is, you have to workshop with them. Like mm-hmm. It's all, it's freestyled in the moment, mm-hmm. but I'm like, I want to say this, I want to say that. This is who I think is going to win because mm-hmm. we've seen all the other... Uh, award shows at that point so i'm like i'm no brad pitt's winning for once upon a time in mexico or whatever the yeah, hell yeah. that shit was called yeah harlem. once upon a time in hollywood but also a good film yeah once Benjamin upon a time in harlem well that's be a good one too <laughs> what was the one that he did with anthony hopkins where he was a dead guy oh uh meet joe black meet joe black mm-hmm. that's what he should have won for he that's, crushed that movie it would have been too late true <laughs> and brad pitt for meet joe black was <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? that's 20 years ago <laughs> um but I wanted to roast him. I was like, if he's going to win, can I just talk about how bad Ad Astra was? No. <laughs> I was like, can we make... I had a bar where I was like, no more daddy issues in space. Go back to punching zombies in the face. Because I am really Whoa. just want a World War Z <laughs> sequel. Yeah, sequel, yeah. That's my favorite Brad Pitt movie. <laughs> he fucking went that was a great sandwich movie. in that yeah. movie. And they wouldn't let you, they wouldn't let you roast him. They were like, it's a little too much Brad Pitt stuff. Yeah. But they let me roast John Travolta. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I remember I came off stage because I was like, you know? it's Adina Menzel, Mr. Travolta or something mm-hmm. like that. And Tom Hanks was there mm. in the rehearsal. And Tom Hanks was like, hey, uh, this is why I don't like Tom Hanks, by the way. <laughs> what? I'm probably the only person. America's who- dad? Doesn't like Tom Hanks. Oh my god! Because Tom Hanks, I was, it was Lynn Manuel Miranda, who's a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Hanks and some other person, I don't know. Chet and, Hanks. Yeah, Chet was like, <laughs> 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 and 
<laughs> like that's those aren't words. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Hanks is like, hey, it's a little bit dated, right? You have to go at Travolta. What are you? What What's going on? You can do better than that. And I was like, I, fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I just met you. Uh, oh wow. But then when I came off stage, because he was presenting right after me, so mm-hmm. after I rapped, the first person I saw was Tom Hanks, and he shook my hand like as these old Hollywood guys do. Now I know they give you nothing. Mm. Yeah. And he's like. Yeah, good job. Like yeah. that. And I just want to be like, I'm going to punch you in the face. Damn, bro. you just ruined everything for me. Let me tell you, every Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks movie from the last five years, Tom Hanks, alone, mm-hmm. wanders through a movie with a grumpy face. Mm-hmm. And then in the last 10 minutes, has some kind of epiphany. Mm-hmm. Handshakes. And he cries. <laughs> and then the fucking movie ends. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks is one of the goats. Damn. I love The Terminal. That's a great Tom Hanks movie. Great Steven movie. Spielberg. Ooh. Krakosia. Yeah. I'm from Krakosia. Victor Noworski. This, 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 this makes me sad. I need... Tom, I know you watch this pod. You and me need to sit down. How about this? Pitch us, let's pitch a movie. You mm. and Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks doesn't work with people. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's a, a solo, solo operator. Dude, you could be a ghost. Whoa. I could be and you only nothing. pop up here and there. Tom Hanks, his last seven movies is just him, dog. No, he did that one movie where he wanted to be alone, where he was like living in that neighborhood, and the people kept showing up at his. Oh, house. man called Otto. Yeah, man called Otto. Like he, I, you know, I missed that one. I didn't see it either. Yeah, man called Otto. Shout out to man called Otto. The last movie that he did with other people in it, he like went off to Baghdad or Iraq, and he was trying to build a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the premise of a movie. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I forgot what it was called. Uh, <laughs> a lot of his movies be going straight to the plane. Straight to the plane? Yeah. Like no. they're on the plane. They're on the airplane. Yeah, yeah. it's hard too because I fly a lot and <laughs> he's all over that motherfucker and I'm like, <laughs> boycott. Hey, man, his, biz- his business model is booming. I met Liev Schreiber in a shoe shop in New York oh, yeah? on Lafayette. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my God. This is when I was in acting school. Mm-hmm. So it was like, Liev Schreiber is like, oh, mm-hmm. like, this guy's a real actor. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh my God, my friends are going to be so excited when I tell them I met you. This is going to be amazing. Mm. I turned around and walked face first into a glass wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, oh man, Liev, good. I'm going to see you. I'll see you up there, buddy. Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I look back at him oh, and buddy. like oil on the glass. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and and I hate to break it to you, but that's the precise reason you've never been in a Liv Shriver movie. <laughs> no interest, baby. <laughs> Leah, call me, bro. <laughs> hey, Kyle, can you give me a beat? Yeah, I got you ready. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're grooving. Uh, we're booming. Uh, we're in the studio today, and Bush. This is an ambush with Ambud car. This is an ambush with Ambud car. He yeah. saw my car. He had to go get a different one. Yeah. Yeah. He said, your car is far out, out of space. Yeah. I said, damn right, I got this shit a different place. Uh. I had to go to Copenhagen so I can buy me the BMW with the wagon on the back. Man, this beat is trash, but this beat is ass. I can't stay on point. I can't stay on point like that ballpoint. I'm running out of man. breath, bro. I'm running out of breath. I can't Nobody even do told it. you to go intricate. I can't do it. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. How you go? How you go? Beatbox and rap at the same time. Hell, who the fuck do you think you are, Rozel? I said no. That's funny. Shout out Rail. Shout out to my boy Trail. I don't know no one named Trail, but guess what? Oh well. We up in Hades. I was gonna say hell, but that was low hanging fruit. You can catch me down bad with some snakes in my boots. That's mm. that snake skin. Yeah, keeping these gators down. Uh, I'm one of the greatest. I'm co- I'm congested. Okay, how about this? I give you a beat right now. Yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Can you keep that going? <laughs> I thought you were about to do the. <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> what happened to that boy? <laughs> okay, I give you a different beat. I give you a different beat. You're putting. You're making Jake Johnson go to sleep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so it all started 
Yeah, you're good. There, <laughs> yeah. When I die in the rafters, I'm here on the morning after. Hey. Gonna write a brand new chapter. Listen to me, the hit after. Lamar got three nuts. Kyle, he got five. Yo. And I can rock live. Yeah. No nine to five, I survive. I thrive and dive into the microphone, and I've seen a lot of things. Lamar loves when I sing. Ice T told me to fuck myself, so I did. <laughs> Do it without no help. Got three kids. They are expensive. If I were you, I wouldn't have children. Cost too much. I'm falling asleep. Z Z Z. Who are we? Wait! <laughs> I woke the fuck up! <laughs> now I'm back and I'm stuck! On the microphone! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. Hey, UTK, <laughs> this is something we'd like to do on Seven our nightmare. show um, with mm-hmm. a guest that we bring on. We'd like to give them a very special, well-thought-out gift. Mm. And I brought a gift for you. No, you didn't. I did bring a gift for you. Um, and I'm going to give you the gift right now. Is that okay? Sure, but I want to play the game where you do impressions and I have to guess them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be easy for you. Yeah. Bro. So what? Let's do them. You want to play the game? Okay. You want to you want to try the same game we we tried? The same impressions. The same. You're saying? What yeah. was the first one for me? Um, you got to do here. Here's the here. Okay. I have to do a um, I have to play a ghost it's of a basketball a, referee. It's from that sim- period in the fifties when dunking wasn't allowed. But you have to guess who the actor is playing that character. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I want to play this game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. You have to guess who the actor is playing this character. Now, the setting is he's a basketball coach. He's a ghost of a basketball coach during the period where dunking wasn't allowed in basketball. Got it. Okay. And action. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you guys like to go on fast breaks, huh? You want to go on fast breaks? Make sure when you go on fast breaks, in order for us to not get fined, you lay the ball up, okay? Hey, Kareem, no dunking. I'm sorry. Hey, Lou Alcindor, there is no, absolutely no dunking, okay? You can you, you put the ball in the hole. You can shoot the jump shot if you want to. You can shoot. How about this? How about this? How about this? Hook shot. You ever try that? Sky hook. That'd be your thing. The sky hook, okay? Because we there's no dunking the basketball. Super rights is upon us. <laughs> That's good. Dang, that, that was, that was that, that really was good. Who was that? Who was Ladies that? and gentlemen, Martin Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew he was going to guess Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's 90s Eddie. Yeah. 80s Eddie, much smaller. 80s was much smaller. Even current is much Current is much smaller. It's like this. You know what I'm saying? So mm. He's real sensitive. He, he talks you know, real slow sometimes, and he's very pointed. I love that Eddie. Yeah, I love the Eddie yeah. from Beverly Hills where he's not trying at all. Yeah, you could tell. I was doing Shrek Eddie. Yeah. You were. You were donkey like, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, Nutty Professor. Yeah, love all oh, spandex. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. You Kyle. Next They'll time. come, Ray. They'll come for baseball. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is Michael Caine. <laughs> Luke. I'm your dad. No, that's not James Earl Jones. Yeah. Your James Earl Jones sounds a lot like Michael Caine because you share Gary Earl Cum. Yeah. No. Oi, I'm Michael Caine. Wow. That's you, really good. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Whoa. <laughs> Michael Caine? I'll take care of Batman. Yeah. <laughs> they'll not die, Bruce. Ray. I won't they'll come. Yeah. They'll come for baseball. <laughs> they'll come for baseball. <gasps> James. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really it. good. Luke. Luke. I'm your dad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the puppy. Hey, that's such a hard one to do because it's such an iconic. I like, scared you. <laughs> yeah. That was a crazy one. Okay. Um, I mean, everyone does this one, but it's this person as as the ghost of a college English professor. <laughs> Boo. You're going to get it instantly. You ready? I know what it is even before you say it. What? It's Christopher Walken. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, this one is. Okay, everybody, get your books open to page 23. No more crying to your mommy and daddy. Let's go. Who's that? Fucking Emma Stone? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're on fire today. You're on fire. You got two Damn, for two. Damn, you're two for two. Yeah, Emma, Emma Stone. Stone. Martin, Lawrence, Martin Lawrence, Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. That was Emma Stone. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Come on. Come on. God damn it. Okay, what's the next one? You've got... Um, 
This person as the Reading, ghost. Reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> Too much homework <laughs> makes me sick. Dear, this person as the ghost of a sleazy 70s porn director. To be or not to be. Um. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. I see her laying her body down, and I think this is the most important part of the scene. Is when she lays her body down, he gets his body on top of her body all over her body. Then her body's on his body, huh? And then he's inside of her body, and then she's inside of his body. Huh? I like it. She's deep inside his body. This this film will be called The Life of Utkar Shambudkar. Call me. I, I don't, Mr. Director, I don't think I could do it. That's Marge Simpson. <laughs> so that's Denzel Washington and Marge Simpson. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're uncomfortable, sweetheart. Okay, get up. Get up. You don't have to do this. That's all. I don't think I can do this. You don't have to do this. My husband won't like it. You don't have to do this. This is your decision. This is your choice. Nobody tells you what to do with your body. It feels very, very much like you're telling me exactly what I'm supposed to do. No, it's because I'm the director. That is my job to push you to the limits. But if you don't want to cross that line, you don't have to cross Uh, that line. Who are you going on a date with? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Megan Good and I, my Coretta Scott King. No, <laughs> my Coretta Scott. Well, we to, no, I'm, I would never do that. Uh, okay, do you want to try one, dude? You want to try one? Sure. Man, okay. Woman like that. You are. I'll tell you that. But you this, already know what this is. No, but he'll try to guess it. Oh, does he know what they are? No, he hasn't seen this. Last oh, okay. One. So you got to be that person. Can you read it? Uh huh. And here's the thing: you are them as the ghost of a dragon that's holding the princess hostage. How would that person play the uh, dragon holding a princess hostage? Peaches, 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 peaches. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> how, ow. How is he? <laughs> I don't even. You. <laughs> you. <laughs> princess. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the voice. Uh, la, 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 la. You will not get the princess. You think you're gonna get the princess? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> I know the answer. I still don't. <laughs> what? Don't worry, I'll wait. Was it John Lucasamo? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, hang out. You have a. What is it you say? You have a something something for losers. Yeah. Oh man, dude, you, you you didn't you don't know who that is? No. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> don't worry, I'll wait. Sounds like a t- a cartoon villain. <laughs> what else does he do? I, I can't do him, but he just had a very um, explosive you have a, have a, have a podcast for losers. episode. Oh, you, that was a terrible Cat Williams. Don't worry. I'll wait. No, nah, that's a terrible Cat Williams. Fine, you, gotta... you do Cat Williams. <laughs> Cat Williams. So this is the Cat Williams interview. You be, you be uh, Sh- uh, Shannon Sharp. Sure, sure. Care, care. I was in the room with Harvey Weinstein when he tried to put his penis in me. But I didn't take the money. Oh, Wait, do, do you got to back up? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But I didn't take the money. Do you understand? I didn't oh. put the dress on. Okay, you crazy, Cat. Okay. But yo. Yes, Skip. yes, because when Skip. I walk in the room, heads go down. Well, let's talk about that. Let's Skip. talk about that, because when it's me and you, baby boy, on the line of scrimmage, when it's one-on-one, when it's mano y mano, guess what? What? Ain't no lines then. Yeah, you fast. <laughs> you fast. <laughs> the, the, the lines get blurred then, baby. Yeah. So tell me about the first time you flew to outer space. So I flew to outer space every day. Yeah. Skip. But that's what they don't want you to Skip. Know. Skip. Skip. But that's if what you they would don't weigh want you in, to Skip. <clears throat> Michael Jordan is yeah. the best I've ever seen. LeBron could never. Skip. 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 You know this. I know this. LeBron James. 100% apex predator. <laughs> apex predator. Apex. What ah. about the fourth quarter yeah. in the 2010 Finals. I, Where I, was he then? Oh, here we go. Hold on, 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 hold on. You know what I look at? Nine trips to the finals, only three wins. Make it ten. Make it ten. Four wins, ten times, ten tries. 
Skip. 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 Six skip. out of six. I get it. Skip. Six finals I MVPs. It. Skip. I get it. I get it. You act like Michael Jordan didn't play 18 years and he only been to the finals six times. Yeah. How, Skip? How? How? What they do that is, look, How? That, How? That's, what was he doing those other times he wasn't in the finals? How, Skip? That's rich coming from you because, look, Shannon, we both know that your mother had some drug problems. Well, skip. <laughs> skip. 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 That's hey. a low blow skip. skip. Look. That's a low blow skip. He always does that, doesn't yeah. he? Skip me taking low Ten blows. 10 cases of Mountain Dew right here. Skip. He gets, skip. Case, skip. Skip. Hey, skip. Shannon, all I'm saying is. You, you know what? You got it. You, know, you, you got it. You talk. You talk. No, no, no. You got it. You talk. Look, nope. I don't understand. You don't pay child support, so why <laughs> should anyone listen to you? Jordan all day. Jordan uh, Jordan loved paying child support. Everyone yeah. knows Jordan played all the child support. He did. Then Chris Broussard out of left field. Uh, 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 here's why I come in. Um, yeah. I think LeBron James is. He, <laughs> I got him number two. LeBron. Okay, I got him number two. And as you know, I've covered him since my days in Cleveland back in the day at the Ohio Gazelle. But, uh, or Gazette. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but I got MJ number one. I got LeBron at number two. And that's no knock on LeBron. That's no slight on LeBron. Um, but I just have MJ number one. That was a that, that was a moment that just happened there, guys. So let's talk let's talk real for a second. Best actually okay. cause I got a, I do have a date. But let's talk best part about being a single dad. Go. The best part about being a single dad mm. uh, is that I I, I I don't have two women control of my life. You know mm. what I'm I got one, a little three year old, and so and I don't. Then, and I don't. It's not. I want. I take that back. I don't want to say two women control my two people. The only person that controls my life now is my daughter, mm. and I. And it's it's a good problem to have because she's three and she's the best. So worst part. Worst part about being a single dad is that I the, the companionship of having someone at home to help you out with with your kid when you need to instead of having to call someone to to help you out. You know, if you got two parents in the household, you don't really always need a babysitter or a nanny, but it, it's nice to have it. But you still have you can still do all your daily activities with two parents in the household. You know, yeah. that's the hard part about it. And she and she and I want her to see a family structure. Mm -hmm. But right now, she, her her uh, she got daughter, a lot of aunties. She got a lot of aunties, a lot of uncles. You you have great relationships with women. Yes, you have really really healthy friendships with women. Mm -hmm. I admire that about you. So what about you, Kyle? What's your um, relationship status? You're single. Oh uh, yeah, we're single right now. Single. We single, going mm -hmm. on dates, having fun. We'll see what happens, you know. You people see the podcast, reach out. Yeah. Um, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do. No, what? I'm. I'm um, don't reach out to him. Yeah, reach out to Kyle. Look, look. But just say hello. Don't make it weird. No, make no, it don't weird. make it weird. Guys, no, 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 no. Send in your emails, and if they're directed to Kyle, make them weird. Kyle likes a weird email. We pull the fans. Yeah, yeah. just send feet. Be cool about it. No, we do. Yeah. Be cool. I don't like feet. I got a friend who loves. Feet. I don't get that. I don't. I don't get that whole. I thing. got a good friend who's like literally comes home and he's like, "I've had a rough day. Put those feet in my face." To you, he says this to you. Wife to his wife. Oh, oh, okay. oh okay, sorry. It's gonna be like you got a weird friend. <laughs> Give me feet. <laughs> this ain't your friend. <laughs> Again, you, hey, you got the you got the LL beans on. Ooh, These are the most comfortable the, things the LL I've beans ever ones. put on. I've yeah, I've had. I got cold feet, notoriously cold feet, so I always got to mm. keep them warm. These are the greatest things I've ever put on my feet. Ooh, shout out to the warmth. That's what they look. Those are the moccasins. I don't know what they are. My mama oh. got them for me for Christmas. Appropriating for ass shoes. The LL Bean ones. Shout out LL Bean. Um, I'd wear these all day. Send us some. We'll test them out. LL Bean, brought to you by La Morning After. Uh, should we but stop? Yeah, we, we should probably stop. I don't know why you want to keep going. This has been fun, though. Seriously, because I just want to see how long we could go. <laughs> Listen, I got a whole. I have a wealth of questions I could keep asking you. Ask me one more. One more? Yeah. One final question. One final question. Dun dun dun. You got one. One movie, and one album. It has to be on your person at all times. You have a, a speaker to listen to it. You have a screen to watch the movie. And you are stuck. You are stuck in Wyoming by yourself. The entire state is empty. Oh, wow. This is your only source of entertainment. One album, one movie. Uh, 
Do you have an answer? I have I have an answer. Do you? What's your answer? One album uh, would be the graduation. Okay. Graduation album, Kanye. And um, The Matrix. Oh, shit. That's a great movie. Kyle? <sighs> My album, probably... No, that's what I call Music 21. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just the greatest hit. <laughs> <That's a> great <laughs> um, movie? <laughs> Shit, I'm choking on air. I don't know what my movie would be. That's tough. Yeah. Um, just first thing that's coming off the top of my head, I love The Departed. Mm. The Departed. That's a good movie. Yeah, the first Great things movie. that came to mind for me were Avengers Endgame. Mm. Mm. It's three hours. Yeah. And then, honestly, Mo Thug's Family Scriptures. Volume you two. Love Bone Thugs and Harmony. I love it. <laughs> you love, love it. not the first one, the second one. The okay. The play sequel. Us, play us out with. A, must uh, be, gotta be mighty Mo Thug. Said it must be, must be, yeah. Gotta be mighty Mo Thug. I'm Lamorne. Yep. This is, must this is be, Kyle. Must be. Udkar Shambudkar. Gotta be mighty Mo Thug. King Boomy in the building.